Well, good morning, Middleton. Welcome to PE at Home. Kind of missed you over that long weekend. I hope that you enjoy what we have going on today. Uh, we're going to start with our warm up. For this warm up, you don't need anything at all except for your body and uh, some space to move around. So, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to do 10 squats, then you're going to do 10 jumping jills, and then 10 burpees. You're going to get everything nice and warmed up. If you want to go and freeze the screen or replay it, feel free to. Remember, I try to go through these kind of quickly so you can get through everything and see everything that you need for today. So do 10 of each. All right. Now, we're going to do a pattern. I want you to follow the feet. This one was step up to the red, then to the green, then back to the blue, then left to the yellow. So up to red, right to green, down to blue, left to yellow. Feel free to repeat that pattern. Pattern number two is up to red, left to yellow, down to blue, right to green, up to red, down to blue, left to yellow, right to green, up to red. Pattern three, left to yellow, right to green, left to yellow, right to green, up to red, down to blue, up to red, up to red, down to blue, down to blue, and you can keep going through these patterns. They're a good way to go and warm up because today we're going to be doing a little bit of orienteering as you can see on our agenda. We're going to look back before that and see what we did last week. Remember we got a whole bunch of plastic lids and plates pull them out of everywhere, even a hot pad and some other stuff. We did a five step challenge, five throws, five steps, the target challenge. Plus you gotta make up your own targets and your own tricks. I'm excited to go and see all those. I look forward to hearing from you for what you did. I had some great videos for that as well. Now on to today. Today might be a little bit frustrating at first when you're starting this out, but this is called orienteering. How orienteering works is you use something sort of like a compass. These are the cardinal directions. As you can see, red is N for north, green is E for east, blue is S for south, and yellow is west, or W for west. You'll need these for what you get to do today. So if you are familiar with what you were earlier doing, or doing earlier, the red was north. So that's why we have the poly spots out. You don't need poly spots to do this activity, which is a cool thing. All you need to know is where north, east, south, and west are. And you just need to be able to count how many steps you take. If you have a compass, that makes this even more fun when you get outside and you can do other things. But otherwise, if you don't, and you're stuck inside, just like I was, you can do this all day long. So this is north. You turn, you're heading east. So green will be east for our purposes. If you turn the other way, to the yellow side, you'll be heading to west. Yellow is west, you can see a step on the W. And if you turn all the way around 180 degrees, you are going south. That's how I go south. So for our first activity, we need to be able to count our steps. To do that, you have to go heel to toe. I'm showing you here with a glass. I put my heel there, and that's one, and then two, and I put the other glass down to mark where I ended. That's two steps heading west. Now let's see it in action. We're heading north. Three steps. That's how I go heel to toe. Three steps. One, two. I land on the poly spot. Great job coning to three steps. Now let's have a little bit of fun with it. This is your first challenge. I want you to go north five steps, west 
five steps, south five steps, and east five steps. I wonder where you're gonna end up. If you'd like to pause the video while you do this, feel free to. If not, we're gonna move on and show you where you're gonna end up. If you follow the directions, you should end just like Mr. W here. Right back where you started, making a square. It's a good way to check if you did it correctly is you should have ended up in a square. Now that was an easy one. Let's make it a little bit more difficult. For this one you're going to go north one step, west three steps, south three steps, east two steps, north two steps, and then east one more step. Let's see where you end up this time. Feel free to pause the video if you need to watch this screen. Did you look like what Mr. W did here? It started out going north one step, then I went west three steps, which are the diamonds that are yellow, went south three steps, which are the blue diamonds, east two steps, I went north two steps, which are the solid red diamonds, and I went east one more step. You should have ended up right where you started. If not, try it again. Otherwise, let's move on. This one gets even more difficult. You got some more steps to go. We go west four steps, south four steps, east two steps, north two steps, east one more step, and north one more step. Let's see where you'll end up. Feel free to pause the screen if you need to. It should have looked something like this. The four yellow diamonds going west four steps, the four blue diamonds is going south, the two blue diamonds is going east, the two red diamonds going north, the solid green diamond should have been two steps east, it should have been one step north, so sorry, one step east and then one step north. Did you end up at the red diamond that was solid? If so, great job. If you ended up where you started, you're just a little off, but that's okay. Create your own course. Where will you end up? This is a fun way to go and get started with orienteering. If you're outside, you can make up your own course and have someone else follow your own steps. Get creative with this. Write down the steps. Mark your yard which way is north, east, south, and west. Or if you don't know them, just mark them the way that I had them with the cardinal directions. Feel free to rewind this video or start at the beginning if you'd like to try again. Good luck, have fun, and get ready to get a little creative. Now for our review. What are the cardinal directions? Do you remember the four cardinal directions? If so, great job, feel free to reply. What did you use for your course today? Did you put any obstacles in it? Did you make your course change directions? We'll talk about more directions a little bit later to get more creative. It's about that time to go and find a comfortable space and relax. What did you do well today? Were you able to make your square right away? Were you able to count your steps correctly? Were you able to stay balancing up on your feet without falling down while trying to go heel to toe? Think about the challenging skill you worked on today. How did you overcome the challenges of going heel to toe or following multiple directions at the same time? Again, be proud that you worked hard today. This is not an easy skill, but it's a fun one when you learn it. I hope that you were able to experience success. Remember to thank anyone that helped you out, or anyone that maybe did your course that you created. As always, I want you to know that I notice you, I care about you, and I want you to succeed. Until next time, take care.